Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my first fall makeup look of 2018. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I really like the way this came out with the lip and everything. It reminds me of like one of the looks that Kylie Jenner had on her um campaign or whatever. I don't remember, but um it just reminds me of that a lot and I just think it's really really pretty. I can't wait to wear this like entire look out. But if you guys want to know how to get this super fall glam, be sure to thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified for all of my future posts if you guys want to see more of me. Thanks for watching and let's just get straight into this video. Okay, so we're going to be starting on eyes today. I'm mostly going to be using my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. My baby, everyone's baby. This is like the best palette release of 2018, 2017. I don't remember which one. I feel like the year just went by so fast. I feel like it's still March, honestly. I'm going to be using my baby, my Jaclyn Hill palette today for this makeup look. So I'm going to start with a big fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to use this shade right here. That is the color Hunt in the Jaclyn Jaclyn Hill palette so I'm going to start with that one and I'm going to blend it into my crease. Oh, maybe I should zoom you guys in hey what i like to do what i think is most efficient is i'll pack some color into the crease the beauty crease sorry i sound so nasally and then i'll lightly blend up and feather the color out with my brush adding color of course as needed I think that's pretty well blended. I'm gonna use the color Mocha and I'm also gonna blend that into my crease and a little bit above my crease. Obviously not as high as the orange because I don't want to overshadow that. Mm, Mocha looks kind of ashy on my skin tone. Maybe it's just me and the camera. And it's actually not blending the way I want it to into the orange. So I'm going to take a little bit of a darker brown. This is the second darkest brown in the palette. So I'm going to use this one. This is the color Central Park. I'm gonna go back in with the original color and I'm kind of just gonna blend out those edges. I'm gonna take a clean, dense blending brush. This is the Morphe G18. I'm just gonna blend those two colors. Like where the line of demarcation is, I feel like they're not blending the way I want them to. I'm gonna go in the color Hillster. I'm gonna apply that with my finger all over the lid. Also, I'm making sure to take that color up into the crease as well because my eyes are hooded, so I wouldn't want it to stop here where the hood starts. I would want it to be above that so my eyelid looks bigger and more, you can actually see the eyeshadow. Now going back into that brown shade, I'm going to blend out the edges and the creases some more. I'm going to use some of the color Firework and I'll apply that right onto the center of my eye. Now I'm going to apply a gold. So I'm probably going to apply this color here right on top of that. I'm 
Now I'm actually going to go in with a darker brown because I just still feel like that brown isn't doing justice. It might look different in the camera, but I just feel like it looks way more orangey instead of a smoked out kind of brown that I want. I'm going to use the color Chip and I put that on the outer edges of my eye. Now I'm going to take a small pointed brush. This is the M21, I mean, sorry, this is the M215 Morphe brush. It's just this really tiny angled brush. And I'm also going to take that dark brown chip color and I'm going to put it into my crease just to define it a little bit. I felt like the color still wasn't showing enough dimension for me so I just added a little bit of the color Mix right onto the center as well. Now I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend everything together in the crease. So I'm going to take that orangey color on my bottom lash line using a eyeshadow brush. Smoking it out just a little bit. I always feel like doing the bottom parts of your eyes complete a look so much. My eye makeup isn't the same since I've started adding product to my under eyelids. And then on the very outer part of my under lids, I'm also going to take up that color chip and smoke that out as well. So now I'm going to use my Tarte Sex Kit and Eyeliner. I'm going to line my eyes a little bit, really thinly, just for lashes. And I'm going to apply my Dauntless Lashes. I'm going to use my Lash Paradise Mascara to mascara my lashes. <laughs> Before I get to my lashes, I'm going to use this, the Mix color that I added on my lid. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner of my eyes. Oh, I forgot to, like, address this, like, really nasty, like thing here I squeezed it I don't know there's always like a dark spot right here it has like dried up um pimple juice <laughs> I don't want to say like pus because uh that word but yeah and then like I don't remember I was just like taking off my makeup or something and then like it cut but anyway I'm going to use my NYX matte suede lip liner in the color club hopper as usual and I'm just going to line my lips real quick So now I'm going to apply my blush. I literally always use the exact same blush pretty much. It's like one, once I find a blush that I love, I literally just stick to it. So I'm going to use this one right here for my BH Cosmetics Blush Neutrals Palette. Well, blush. Novu, no, Noveo Neutrals Palette. That name is so hard to say, honestly. Like if you guys watch my BH Cosmetics, um, my review for this video, you will literally see how hard I had learning this name and clearly I still haven't learned it I'm gonna keep my blush really light for this look I'm just giving it a little bit of color I'm gonna use my ColourPop in the color Mama I actually have rarely worn this lip color but it's I love orange lippies like so much
y'all are probably like oh girl no what the hell you doing girl but uh it's okay i'm gonna line it a little bit more i mean it doesn't even look bad like this i personally think even though i personally also wouldn't wear it like this but um it looks okay Oh, I'm so sorry guys. I always forget that when I put that mirror up, it kind of makes everything else dark because it like reflects the light and then like everything else becomes dark. I don't know. Science and photography guys. I'm not a pro at this stuff. I'm literally learning as I go. But like that always happens. I could have also solely used that Beige Cosmetics palette. So if you want to have this eye look and this with the blush and everything in one place that BH Cosmetics palette it's also really good and now lastly to highlight my face I'm going to be using my I like your face color pop highlighter palette and I'm going to use the color bigger and better first I'm spraying my brush with my all-nighter setting spray I know you guys see me do this all the time but I usually don't do talk throughs so yeah just spray it fan it in it and this just helps the color be more pigmented gonna set my face one more time I'm also gonna take that small shading brush and dip into my highlighter and highlight my brow bone because I totally forgot that I was gonna do that So that is it for this fall makeup look. I really, really enjoyed doing it for you guys. I really liked how the way it came out. It's literally still, psh, I don't even know, it's still super warm in New York City. But for anyone that has the colder temperatures or if you're getting ready or if you just needed some inspo, I'm so happy to have given it to you and hopefully I did give it to you <laughs> and I'm happy to have if I did. If you like this video, don't forget the thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye